Hello, this is a video I'm making for Mrs. Benella. This is your wardrobe you bought. And I thought I'd do a video to watch, so sorry, yeah, a video for you to watch um, of me taking it apart, putting, back, putting it back together again, so you've got some ideas. Um, I haven't re rehearsed this, so it's probably gonna go wrong, but I thought if there are any problems I come across, these might be the problems that you might come across. Okay, uh, first of all, the doors at the moment, I've just put the doors on with one screw in each hinge. Obviously, there are some more screws that need putting in just to finish it off, but this is where we'll start from. And when you're putting the doors on, make sure there's two of you. Don't do it on your own like I am, because things could go wrong. Okay, so that's the first door. This is obviously the right hand door because it's got the key. I'll just put that over here for a moment. show you putting the doors on because I'm, I'm sure you know how to put doors on but never mind. Obviously if you're having any problems at any point I'm always on the phone so you can give me a give me a call or give me a text and I'll give you a call back. Right so that's the other door. screws over here for the moment. Right, so you're left with the carcass with that main bit. If you go to one corner, you'll see there are wedges up in here, little blocks of wood. There we go, those. And if you look at the, in there, they're slightly tapered. You'll see the cutouts are slightly tapered. And they go up here. Knock them, and then you just knock them along with the handle and that squeezes it all together. So I'll take that off and I put TR top right for that one and then the other side again TL top left. Then um, when you're putting the top on or taking it off Use two people, it's much easier. You can, otherwise, you could come across problems with them. Hopefully, I won't break it. There we go. Right, so that's the top off. Now, um, there is the bottom here. There's a wedge thing, wedge shaped thing that slides into a slot from front, from back to front. It goes in there and you slide it across into there. I'll leave that down there for a moment. And there's also a little wedge, tiny little wedge just here. Now, I'll show you that as well, close up. It's a little tiny little wedge there, and that, there's a little cut up bit there to make it thinner, and that goes into the slot, the front of the slot, and you just knock it down. You'll see there's a thing that sticks up that the wedge goes through, 
and just to the front of that you need to knock it into place. It just holds it together nicely. Again, any problems, then you can give me a call. Right, okay, I'm using this. There are two screws on the back. Top and bottom, there's a hole for another one in the middle, but you don't need it. It's just to support the back, that's all it is. So. Okay, and that's the side piece, and you can see this has to be the right hand side. Oops, sorry, it has to be the right hand side because there's a hole at the bottom and it's different to the top. But I'll show you exactly that when we're putting it together again. I'll put that over here as well. Um, then, yeah, I'll go around the other side, around here. There are two more screws, one there. On here. I'll just take those off. Again, with this, when you're doing it yourselves, I'm sure you'll suss it out, but um, it's always best to have two people just to support things. It just makes the job a lot easier. Right, so that's the back off. And then just the other side. And again, that's the wedge I've just taken out, if you can see that. And the little, the tiny little wedge again just goes into here at the front. Right. And that is it. Obviously your drawer can come out if you like. So when you're putting it back together, I'll just do this quickly, your base down, side in place, the wedge goes from back to front, so I'm putting it in the slot like that, back to front, just pinch that up, pull the side towards you, so I'm pulling it this way at the bottom, towards me, and then this little tiny wedge thing, I don't know if you can see very well, little tiny wedge just goes in the gap, there's a little gap, and just pop that in place, keeps it secure, and then you can tap the wedge from back to front. It doesn't have to be hard, you'll hear it pinching up. That's it, that's enough. Right. So as I said before, it's best to do this with two people, but right to the end. Okay, so right to the end. And then, oh, I'm silly. When you put in the back on, always have the screws with you. Back in place, I'm putting the top screw in while supporting the back. Don't need an electric screwdriver, just a normal one. Just pinch it up, doesn't have to, again, doesn't have to be very tight, just, just pinch it up, that's nice. Back on. Then the other side piece. Top right, TR, top right. Slides over the sticking up bit. That goes in there. Um, I'm going to put the wedge in first. So, wedge in. Okay, just putting the wedge in to the slot from back to front. Just push it in. Then pull the side towards me at the bottom. So, I'm just pulling this this way. Then the little tiny wedge goes at the front, just taps in, doesn't have to be tight, that's fine, so that's kind of supported now, oh, and then tap it up, and that's it, then the two big screws, again one is about there, and one 
bottom. Pinch that up. Okay. Then I'll get the top. As I said before, this is much easier with two people. This is a bit tricky with one person. It's quite heavy as well. You can see it locates on little lugs at the top. And there's holes in the top, and the lugs go out and go in the holes. You'll, you'll see that when you put it together. So you can see that's gone on fairly easily. If it, if it doesn't go on very, very easily, then there's something wrong. Just take your time and have a look around because there might be something just a little bit in the way. That's the wedge again, top left, TL. And you'll see at the side here it's tapered. So you'll see that goes on there. And then you knock it with a hammer. I know you can't see very well what I'm doing, but it will be pretty straightforward. You'll set it out. And that again goes there. And there we go. And then obviously you just need to put the doors on. I won't do that again because you've seen the doors on. So yes, when you're putting the doors on, again, make sure you've got two people, one person supporting the door and the other person just push, putting it into place and putting the screws in. Make sure you've got a Definitely a screw in each one before the other person lets, you know, doesn't stop supporting the door because you must try and get a few good screw, a few screws in while you're supporting the door and that should be fine. The only problem you may come across is if your floor's not level, then you might find the doors aren't lining up properly at the, at the top, which means they're rubbing from the bottom. That means your floor's not level. Now what you have to do is lift one corner of the wardrobe up slightly and see what difference that makes. And you need to lift that up or lift this one up and then you'll find the doors will just even out. And then you'll see which one you have to put a little, you put a little coin underneath, a little 50p piece or a two pound piece. Um, and that will, that will level it out. Again, any problems at all, give me a call and then I can talk you through it. I hope you get on okay.